Um, I think. Who, who wants this here? Like, probably no, we know we want all the kills, of course. But is it a good idea to give it to her? I don't know. But with the support, it's. Support in this game do, do matter like a lot. They give. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I use. This is much better with the support, I see. Mm. The Libra. So, is Libra good? That is, that is a question I kind of ask myself every time I, I think about using him. Libra, Libra is good. Libra is actually like pretty good. The problem is he's kind of not. Um, he's good in a traditional sense, not in an awakening sense. So grinding your units or or like focusing on on other characters kind of invalidates him. And I think I'm not good here. Because at this point you already have two healers and he's like, if he was a sage, I think he'd be much better. But trying to be, happens a lot in the newest games that there's a unit whose main point is kind of, uh, I, I don't mean to be cruel with Libra, but kind of to... Uh, to be the, the poster guy of a, of a not really useful class. And Libra falls under, under that category because it's like, so you're the war monk guy. Yeah. Just like a Versailles is kind of the dark flyer girl and Reina is the, you know, the Kinshi Knight girl. Uh, which is another point I, I think I may do a video about at some point. How how you you kind of lose on those on these things with reclassing. Because for example Gordon Gordon is an archer, you know? Gordon is an archer, you always remember him as an archer. But I think in Shadow Dragon most people can reclass to anything. So like if you use Gordon as a Wyvern Knight and I'm not talking from experience because I've never played Shadow Dragon. But doesn't that like kind of not make sense from a narrative standpoint? Like people are or, or like for a more like for an incredibly flexible game like uh, Three Houses. So Three Houses allows you to... Yeah, that's a killer but that's, that's a dangerous one. Does it kill me? No, it doesn't. So I may just... Yeah. Yeah, if I stand here, I actually defend. Yeah. Now even weaken? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, you come to me and I kill you. Yeah, you have just one more point of speed, which is enough for you not to get doubled. But I I prefer that, because then I can give the kill to no one. Oof. Mm. You're also here. Uh, still lands. I guess I could take you on with Libra. Why not? Um, yeah, that's an option. Yeah, I, I'd rather give it to... Oh. But can I? Give it to, to Kelam or someone like that. Also, the Wyvern squad, I normally get caught up uh, with them. This time I'm, I'm doing pretty good, I see, because... So I weaken you, nobody joins, and now I kill with Kelly. Perfect. Perfect. 
So is this a fort with reinforcements? Forgot to give him the the energy drop. And he's seeming more like more and more like a good candidate. Oh those guys. Yeah, they they are a thing. Okay. Okay, you die. Yeah. You were the one that worried me. Now it's only um, Saria left. I think this triggers the movement of every unit. So I think now Saria and the Wyverns are going to move. The okay, Subasa survived very well. Level 15? Yeah, level 15. Mm, very good level up there. Oh, so you, oh, so you went down and there's a... That's annoying. There's a Wyvern in the way. I have to like, kill the wyvern or, or circle around. And uh, I also have to. Oh. Joy. Okay, so um, let's not try and like feed people or anything. Let's just. Oh, A? Yeah, A. Was fast. Yeah. That's, I think, the, the best Kelam can do in this situation. I think I'm going to need to do this. Like this. Yeah. You there? Are you, are you with the player? You seem reluctant to fight. That comes for all of us eventually. I invited early, fighting for a cause I don't believe. Nani? So I should take that as a no or as you say I'm keeping my options open. I mean long live the king and all that. I like to keep living as well. And I have a bit of a rebellious streak, I'm afraid. Dark side. Soka. Then perhaps you would rebel now and fight for a cause? Uh? You would trust me? What if it is just a ploy to plunge a dagger in your back? Yeah. My sister did so I I think she would trust you. I'm trying to learn from her. Besides, I'm already I already need to watch my back, whether you are with us or not. Anata. That's so. I usually when I bring up the backstabbing part, the discussion is over. Alright then, consider me in your new ally. For now. Mm, no no range, nothing. I think from can probably survive better. I can also, yeah, I can weaken, okay? I can weaken with Tarya yeah, there. Perfect. And now I could take the kill with. Can I like one shot you? Yes. And I'm going to do just that. Okay. Now, to deal with them. This is a, a drop over hand axe, good, steel axe, a hand axe and a steel axe, so this is just a hand axe. I'm quite sure that Muriel can take a hand axe, and with the Elwin she's, she's going to kill in retaliation, so, so this is solved. And then I put a lot of people around just to... Yeah, just to do something about it, and uh, yeah, that, that's all. Oh, a physic? Well, m maybe that's a good idea. Shouldn't, shouldn't be hoarding physics. Oh, she took that much better than I thought. I, I know bike gives her like four or five defense, but still, very good. More defense and resistance? Okay. I mean, I'm really okay with you not being frail, it's not what I expected, but... So, yeah, the difference is like 9 damage more. So, oh, oh, you don't get double. I see, you're, you're one cheeky guy. Also, Donald doesn't do a lot of fear. So... Mm 
67 of male joining. That's okay with me. Yes. So I killed you. I have now 7 defense. I think Miriel actually has more defense, but, but he has 36 HP. So. Okay, and there's the Steel Axe. You, you actually have a support, so this is, this is a good idea. Okay, I, yeah. That helped a lot. Now I can even weaken the Steel Axe. Using Noe. Yeah, quite effectively too. Very good. Very good. And we can start going to here. Paria, yeah, Paria, I'm. Oh, she only has D. I, I was almost sure she joined with C. Well, well, D is already a thunder, so I guess that's okay. Like, magic doesn't need a lot of. Unlike other types of weapons, Magic doesn't really need a, a very high, you know, what I'm trying to say, a very high level to work. I want to separate Frederick up there so he gets this, so on. I, I guess I'm better at getting it. Well, but if it's experience, plus weapon proficiency. Yeah, you died. So there goes the weapon spot. Not at all scary this time. The bike got biker. Um, yeah, let's not waste the opportunity of healing your your future husband for some good support and some experience. Okay, and a very good level up. Now, who wants the experience? You are actually both level 15, which is brutal. Level 11 is also quite good. You're, you're kind of level 12, if I think about it. So maybe Cordelia, but... Hmm. Yes, yes. Let's just finish this. Nothing else to do. Um, I, I think like the sparkles are actually like there were some sparkles. Oh no, there were some here and we took them, and there were some here and we took them. Okay. Yeah, I see something like a superior bow or something. Or did I see it wrong? Oh, yeah, the killer one. Mm, yeah, I think this one is going to Frederick. Frederick, Frederick, good. Frederick, very good. You never save your precious salt has come. Yeah, watch me. I mean, you. you. Okay, killing me will only fit players. Yeah, that, that's a level up. Strength, speed, skill, up. Mm -hmm. And a Drake. So that's an Gaius 8 turns. Only one try. Very good for this map, I'd say. So that's the Weber Riders have fallen. The skies are clear. I'm giving the signal. You're great! Phil, I'm so glad to see you're safe, but how. Can my serious men freed me? Come, we must hurry. Huh? What? Pegasus Knights, how did they? That demolition tactician does not play fair. Hmm. Yes, what? Well, neither do I. Reason? Oh god, no! Come, there are reason everywhere! Then, not now. Oh, did an army of living corpses just appear out of the blue? Truly the heavens smile upon my king Gungrel this day. <laughs> 23. 
I know she said bacana, which is like no way, but it really sounded like she said fuck. Grace, how? Grace, forgive me. Dile. Exunt one, the Pegasus name. What's how they fall one by one? Yeah. They dead. No, no, no. Lost. I believe this is what they're gonna reverse our fortunes. No, grab my before me. Please. Beg for your worthless life. Give up my life before I beg for it from you. Oh, now that is a good life. A fitting epitaph for your tombs and burials. That is not just your life in the balance. The exile seal stands up on the block. I have a dozen bows trained on her, but it would take its one word from me. Lisa. <laughs> Hold on, man. Archers! The Silician pub so much as twitches. Let's fry your arms. Kill you! Go ahead! I welcome it. Yes, no, you were responsible for big sisters' bloody demise. And what of the rest of you, eh? Who wants the honor of killing the exo? No one? Eh. Your merry band isn't quite as merry anymore. Pathetic. Them you. No, no, my boy, no one needs to die today. Not you, not the exile, not your friends. Just lay down your sword and give me the fire. I... Krum, you can trust him. Of course I can trust him. Not an idiot. If I just say no, he'll kill her. Because are cruel, damn them. Sister of my duty. Wrong with no right answer, yet I must choose to face a marine. Um, yes, no, that's right. Don't give up. There has to be a way. There it is. I can't see it. Oh, God, I will count to three. Throw down your weapon so your exile becomes the world's larger squibber. One. Two, three, and grab four. You win. Everyone, lay down your. No, wait. Silence. King Kangaroo, is there no hope you will listen to reason? You mean listen to more of your sanctimonious power? I think not. No. All I want to hear is now is the thunk of the arms and a splat as you hit the ground. Take one long last look from your perch. You do so enjoy looking down on people. Then prepare to meet the ground and your make. That is how it's wrong or to give me the emblem now. Alright. Alright. And I know you won't approve, but this is my final decision. Maybe someday we'll face a crisis where maybe the emblem would have helped. To know for a fact that Elise needs you. Today, the people need their exalt. We need our sister. If the dark days should come, we'll face them together. Crumb. Thank you. I now know what I must do. And what are you? Legends, I ask that you hear the truth of my word. War will win you nothing but sadness and pain, both inside your borders and out. Free yourself from this heritage. On the circle of pain and vengeance. Do what you must, as I will do. See now that one selfless act has the power to change the world. Um, no, no! She doesn't even say Lisa. She just says Crow. That's that's nice. I guess Lisa doesn't matter shit. But I guess Lisa could be dead. No, no, she's plot life. Crow. 
Okay, okay, so yeah, it's not the least it's meat. I know there's like a lot of memeing around this scene, but I actually find it to be pretty good, like pretty well done. Uh, after a while, you, you of course, you, you get the that comment like uh, is is what the marine did good? Like they, did it serve any purpose? If in the end they just kind of escape like why did she suicide this doesn't really make sense yeah well of course to some point but like the symbolism and the, the action is good so i'm not i'm not going to criticize it like if, if you expected me to i don't think she's like she took the most intelligent decision but at least it's like um, fits the character oh god Damn you, Gangor. No! <laughs> well, no. How disgustingly in the novel. And so lovely a poor. I thought that to be an ugly thing. I've never seen one fall so gracefully, in fact. And I've seen many fall. Ah. So and Samarin, Elisa's most extracted. But how can we sure everyone remembers this beautiful moment of our sacrifice? Perhaps we should gather her body and put it on this plane. <laughs> you died today. Oh boy, I secured an escape route. I have to flee. Her body, I have to... You have to run! Now do it! Subasa, don't let him do anything stupid. No, I'm, I'm too late. The black future is written once more. Darkness awaits us all. Mm, does something happen after you say? Okay, nothing happens. Yeah, it goes straight to renewal. Hmm. Ah, a good chapter. Also, we got we got that support. Good, good. Not going to try this because this this skirmish was actually pretty hard. Map, the map is an. I think it's a good map. I think it's well thought. Like in the story, I like how it fits the thing. Like you have reinforcements coming in the form of Libra. You have a recruitable Antharia kind of represents that not everyone in Plegia is. Like. Not everyone in Plegia believes what Gangrel is telling them. Mm. Like it, it can be a bit boring as a map, but in the end, it's a it's a good map. Like it's well thought out. It's, it makes sense, you know. Even if it's easy, you could even say it's easy because I I already know the game, so I kind of trained my units around knowing the chapter and brought who I knew was was good for this. Mm, yeah, and about the story, well, I think. A lot of things have been said about about this chapter and about what happens in it. I am I actually think like this death is much better than most father figure deaths in Fire Emblem. I've seen a lot of them and they they become kind of repetitive. Here they like switch it up, it's not a father, it's a sister, well whatever it's it's basically the same. But I, I kind of like that it isn't... Mm, how do I tell this without spoiling a lot? Even though it's, it's like... The death is kind of Gangrel's fault. But in the end it isn't Gangrel himself that killed Emery. The idea itself of war is what kills Emery, so as long as there is war, Kron has to keep fighting, you know? While in other games, the grudge is so personal, 
Like for example, I know I know in Path of Radiance, I, I kind of have gotten some spoilers uh, over the years, and I know like uh, who is like the the main enemy of fight and the main people he wants to, uh, vengeance against, and that's a personal grudge. That's something you don't. I don't know, maybe in the end he kind of realizes it's not only one person, it's the whole war and the whole the whole enemy country and the whole thing, you know, the, the, the war that is to fold. But in this game it's from the start that the Marine doesn't blame Gangrel and doesn't even fight. Is she too idealist? Yeah, yeah she is. Like. She obviously is, but I I like that the character that dies isn't like some noble warrior or invincible soldier this time. It's just some ruler that's perfect for times of peace, but was just not prepared for a situation like this, you know? And I, I don't know what else to say. Next we're going to go into into chapter 10 definitely not going to deviate from this because I like how the story flows into the next one I think they should have been like forced the next one was an escape chapter would probably be a very very well loved one but in the end it well I, I will talk about it <laughs> in the next video uh, for now this has been Pomo like subscribe leave a comment and I will see you there in part 17.